flavor words. Flavor words can make or break your recommendations. If you want to be successful in suggestive selling, you need to understand flavors and how to use them to sell a drink or dish to a guest. In this lesson, we will look at understanding flavor and flavor words. So, let's start by understanding flavor. Flavor is a distinctive quality of a particular food or drink as perceived by the taste buds and sense of smell. The flavor of something can be described by words that are used to describe the taste. There are five basic flavors that we all know. They are salty, sweet, sour, bitter, and umami, which is the word used to describe a savory taste. But then there's a combination of other words that describe various flavors of a food. So let's have a look at all these flavor words. Firstly, we have saltiness. Saltiness is when you taste something which contains a fair amount of salt. Bacon is an example of a salty food. Now, let's have a look at sweetness. Sweet flavors have a pleasant taste like that of sugar, honey, or perhaps caramel. This is not salty, sour, nor bitter, but rather an enjoyable sensation. There are various degrees of sweetness, such as lightly sweet with a hint of honey. Milk chocolate is an example of a sweet food. Bitterness is the most sensitive and alarming of all the tastes. Bitter flavors give sharp and sometimes unpleasant or disagreeable sensations, especially to the back of your tongue. Some people like bitter foods, while others may find this flavor to be very unpleasant. Coffee, unsweetened cocoa, and beer are all examples of bitter flavors. Now, something interesting to take note of is sourness. This is an acidic or lemon-like taste with no sweetness. The sour flavor will always stimulate the sides of your tongue, making you experience a strange biting sensation at the sides of your mouth. We don't like using the word sour to describe food, such as cheese, as it suggests that the cheese in question could have gone bad. However, there are cheeses that have a touch of sourness due to their yogurt-like consistency. An example of this is labna, which is yogurt that has been strained to filter or remove the whey, which has a consistency between that of yogurt and cheese. In this case, you should rather say tangy. Tangy ranges from mild to a strong, piquant or sharp taste. Tangy is known to pleasantly stimulate or excite the taste buds. This sourness can sometimes be acidity, which gives a sharp component to food. The acidity found in certain foods can be powerful. They hold a strong, sharp and sour tasting mouthfeel, rather than bitter and cutting. The same sensation found in lemon, or perhaps vinegar. Umami is a category of taste in food used to describe savory and meaty flavor elements in food. Umami is dominant in Eastern cuisines, and understandably, the word umami is a loan word from Japanese, meaning good flavor or good taste. Soy sauce is an example of an umami food. The flavors discussed above are the primary flavors that our taste buds pick up on. However, there are more complex flavors that are sometimes a combination of salty, sweet, sour, bitter, and umami. The flavor word citrus refers to all types of citrus fruits, such as lemons, oranges, and mandarins. Something that is nutty tastes of nuts and would have a similar flavor and smell to that of wood. Amaretto is an almond-flavored liqueur and can be described to have a chocolatey and nutty flavor and aroma. Two words that fall into a similar category are earthy and mushroomy. Earthy is the flavor suggestive of the earth or soil. It has a slight hearty warmth to it and a savory taste. We often use this word when referring to the smell of something. An example of an earthy food is aged Gruyere cheese. Mushroomy flavors, on the other hand, are those tasting similar to that of a mushroom, slightly earthy, mild, and meaty, a definite savory flavor that can also be described as mossy or musty. 
Buttery flavors are the flavors that rise from food that is rich in butter fat, or perhaps a farm sheep's milk. This flavor is creamy, coats the mouth, and has a slightly salty taste. Some beers can be described as having a buttery taste, and white wines that are oaked can often develop a buttery note or flavor. Spiciness describes a fragrant, aromatic flavor that gives slight heat on your palate, as well as giving the tongue a slight tingling sensation. Many Indian dishes can be described as rich and spicy. Smoky is the flavor word that is used to describe food that has the taste or aroma of smoked, flame-grilled foods, such as fish or chicken. Some whiskies can be very smoky and peaty, such as Laphroaig, which is a single malt Scotch whisky from Isla. We can take all these words described here and surmise that a word used to describe a collection of these flavors is simply rich. Rich or decadent in various flavors means that a food is full of flavors, intensities, elements, and smells. Very creamy pastas or very chocolatey desserts can sometimes be described as rich. So, these are some examples of the many flavor words that you can use when describing food. Can you think of even more? Look at your menu and make notes of more words you could use.